What's going on, guys? It's been a while. How you guys doing? It's Uncle Muscles. Finally, 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 Rock M 6.3 is here. We did it, guys. We finally did it. We've been waiting for this for a long time. Uh, if you go into your uh, AMD settings, so just Windows key AMD, uh, hit the, that thing, that button right there. It'll say, after you hit this refresh button, update available, 24.12.1, hit download. This is super important. Why is this important? Well, if I'm correct, and hopefully I'm not recording this video for absolutely no reasons right now, 6.3, Rock M, 6.3 will add cooperative groups. Cooperative groups allows you to perform three-dimensional mesh type of large language models that did not exist currently. So we're just going to run the install as normal here. So yeah, I went here, and then you look at the compatibility. So, oh, sorry, it's RockM 6.2.3. Sorry, guys. So we're working with RockM 6.2.3. Honestly, this is fantastic. We don't need RockM 6.3 right now. We don't really need RockM 6.2.4. I've had issues with that on my other, uh, on my on my Linux system. We we'll, don't need to get into that right, right at the moment. Um, this is the compatibility matrix. This is good to know. 7900 XT, uh, that will work. And 7800s. They're saying pros. 48 gigabytes. Is that Navi 32, not 31? That's my guess. One of the things you're going to have to keep in mind here is the, the Triton support. The reason why this has been kind of weird is because Triton now has flash attention embedded into it. So a lot of people are having issues trying to install flash attention, particularly on WSL. If you're on Linux, this probably wasn't an issue for you uh, at, at the moment, but it was an issue for you if you were on 6.1.2. So if you've upgraded, this is probably something you have to worry about. But if you're on Windows, you couldn't upgrade because we were stuck with Windows 6.1.2. So now we have Windows 6.2.3. That's a tongue twister. Why does this matter? Well, this one uh, repository couldn't be installed because we didn't have cooperative groups. For whatever the reason, cooperative groups allowed Gaussian splatting. All the 3D stuff that you do in Comfy UI and with Diffusion models are kind of dependent on this Gaussian splatting thing. Um, so if you want to use PyTorch 3D from Facebook or some of the like Comfy UI 3D tools, any of those things, if you're trying to use it on WSL Linux, they weren't going to work. I'm sure there's a bunch of other use cases. In fact, if you're aware of use cases that I'm not mentioning that are going to be dependent on cooperative groups, please let me know in the description below, or sorry, in the comments. I don't know how to apply my graphics card to all of the use cases that it has. So I, I understand that uh, cooperative groups is going to be very particular to generating like 3D meshes or any type of exporting uh, 3D models out of... Comf UI or other type of stable diffusion image generation or image generation AI applications, anything that you're trying to export out of there into like a 3D type of mesh or a 3D model or something like that, that was going to be dependent on uh, something along the lines of Gaussian splatting. So now that is part of something that we can actually do on Windows. So if you're trying to incorporate Comf UI and perhaps into like a Unreal Engine type of workflow and you're not using like your own particular... Um, inference server this might be really well this is definitely gonna be really good for you definitely upgrade immediately there's a lot of issues that people were having uh, across the board and now finally there's some uh consistency across the versioning between linux and windows so i'm really happy that this update uh lisa sue your santa claus every day is christmas right now in the ai sphere and i'm really really loving this stuff two of the major uh python libraries that use this Gaussian splatting are the Facebook Research PyTorch 3D. This is something that a few of my Comfy UI plugins used, and I could not get this to run because HIP was unable to translate the cooperative group code from CUDA to ROCKM. So that's one of them. And then Mr. For example, Comfy, th Comfy UI 3D Pack. This is a very uh, popular Comfy UI plugin, and this is something that now should be able to run. Yeah, and the other library that seems to be very important but wasn't really getting supported, and to be honest, at this point, it may have become a little bit obsolete. I'm not 100% sure. Let me know in the comments. Uh, was open source. This, I believe, also was dependent on cooperative group slash cooperative work group. So now it should be able to work. Once again, I haven't verified any of this. I just upgraded my driver, so... Let me know if you guys are having issues, and I will be looking more into this over the next couple of days slash weeks. I'll have to do some double checking. Hopefully, I'm not giving anybody the wrong information. But let me know what you would like me to do in my next couple of videos, because we got a couple things going on. We've mastered Olama. We're now past Olama. We're doing Llama.cpp. 
Uh, it seems to be a little bit better if you're trying to do speculative decoding or anything like that. So if you're curious about that, let me know in the comments below and I'll teach you guys how to do that on AMD hardware. I'm doing it across a, a few different systems at this point, pretty much all AMD. Um, also, anything with Comfy UI, we're going to be doing a bunch of that stuff now. We're going to be doing video generation with a few different type of models. We're doing Cogex video and what's the new one I'm using right now? I'd like to use the new 10 cent video diffusion model, but it's a little bit big. We're trying to maybe get that converted over to GGML that just came out. Open web UI stuff, if you guys are curious about that, we can do some open web UI stuff. If you're curious about anything in AI right now that pertains specifically to a AMD hardware or just getting your workflow set up on like a Linux-based system and you're not using Docker, let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna be doing a bunch of videos soon. We just got everything cracking. I got all my stuff working. I've been kinda MIA for a little bit. Hopefully you guys are still sticking around. I really appreciate the support. I love you guys so much. Please check me out. I'm on X now. I'm on I'm on all the video platforms. I'm on Rumble, but I'm really on X. Just hit me up on X. Uncle Muscles on X. That's where I'm at. If you're inter interested in AI stuff or anything like to do with Chinese MMOs and using AI to manipulate them, that's what we're doing right now. Okay, boys and girls. So hit me up. I love you guys so much. I gotta go. I'm really incredibly busy right now, and I will talk to you later. So bye so much right now. Bye.